Hi everybody, Teacher Source here, and I wanted to show you the Fraction Pizza Project. Now, the cool thing about this is you could use it in your classroom, in person, where you can print it out and have the students work on it in class. Or you could have them complete this through Seesaw right now doing, during distance learning, or for a fun weekend project when you're in school, or also on Google Slides. So this Fraction Project has them creating fractions, comparing fractions, making fraction word problems, um, elapsed time, telling time, and graphing. What I like to do is when I do this in person, instead of using this packet as their final product, we put all of the information on an actual pizza box. So we were able to actually contact our local, our local pizza restaurant and they donated enough empty boxes for our students to do this project. And then we did some cute thank yous. But basically what this project is, they're going to write about what their favorite pizza is, perfect pizza is, and then they're going to create their own pizza with fractions. And it gives very specific directions how they need to divide it into eighths or more, but obviously evenly. And then they're going to make five separate fractions of different toppings. And they're going to use this blank canvas to either draw it out if they're doing it in class or if you're doing it on Seesaw or Google Classrooms, you're going to be able to segment it and use shapes and all of that. Then they're going to write what the topping is and what the fraction is that they created on their pizza. How much has meat on it, how many has vegetables. So again, it's incorporating fractions, but actually having them utilize them in a different way. Then the five fractions that they created need to go on a number line. Then they're going to use their fractions that they made, and they're going to create some compare-contrast fraction statements. Then this slide is asking them to create a word problem and an an show the answer to it and then another word problem and answer. Now they can do the word problem and have someone in their family answer it if this is a distance learning project or you could have them create the problems and then have their classmates answer them through Seesaw or Google Classrooms or whatever you're utilizing where they can comment or if you have like a class blog or something. And then in class, what we did was we had the kids write them on the actual pizza box. And then when we had a little showcase of all of the fraction pizzas, uh, the kids went around and had scratch paper and tried to solve the problems. Then you will have some elapsed time problems with some different silly kind of like delivery questions. Help with clocks telling time, and then utilizing a tally graph, or tally chart, excuse me, to create a bar graph. And then at the end, here's just a cute little recipe that they could use at home if they wanted to create a pizza. So it incorporates the fractions, word problems, graphing, telling time, elapsed time, and even a little cooking. So hopefully you enjoy this product, and hopefully your kids do as well. Last thing, there is a rubric you can utilize again if you're doing this in class or if you're doing it for distance learning you can you know give them points based on their progress thanks